Hello again, friends. My name is Dr. Randy Schrader, and I'm excited to share with you the 10 secrets to a successful marriage. I wrote the three-time national award-winning marriage book, Simple Habits for Marital Happiness, which is the only marriage book that looks at all seven areas of a relationship to help you achieve a consistently satisfying marriage. I'm a former seminary professor of pastoral counseling for nearly 25 years. I taught premarital counseling, marriage counseling, family counseling. I'm a marriage and family counselor, and I have counseled and spoken to thousands and thousands of spouses about these simple yet very effective habits, these practical, specific words, behaviors, and knowledge that make a positive, significant difference in helping you achieve a gratifying, successful marriage. The first secret to a successful marriage is to never be complacent. Never take your spouse for granted, never take your marriage for granted, and really never take yourself for granted. A key question, are you a better spouse today than you were on your wedding day? Make it a goal to improve and grow every day and every year as a spouse and continue to get better and better in every way. I think a key way to overcome complacency is to think of yourself as a boyfriend or a girlfriend. When I think about being a boyfriend to my wife, I want to value her, love her, encourage her, compliment her, just like I did during our dating days. And that helps me not be complacent today or even in the future. The second secret to a successful marriage is to be a giver, not a taker. If even one spouse is a taker, that marriage is going to struggle uh, and probably be a troubled relationship. Our loving God is a giver. God gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in Jesus will have eternal life in heaven. Likewise, spouses need to be givers, just like our loving God. And it's a privilege to be a giver. It's not a have to love your spouse today. It's a get to. I get to give my wife physical affection and compliments and encouragement today. Whenever a marriage is struggling, what the, the question that a spouse often asks is, what am I getting out of my marriage relationship? And the key question for both spouses needs to be, what am I giving to my spouse today? What am I giving to our marriage to keep it strong and growing? The sixth secret to a successful marriage is to be cooperative. There was a research study done many years ago, almost 40 years ago, on 10,000 spouses uh, in 30 countries. So it's a, a very extensive research study to find out what was the key essential that led to a consistently satisfying, successful marriage. And what this research study found among those 10,000 spouses is that it wasn't intelligence, wasn't finances, wasn't attractiveness. The key essential was being cooperative. Me, and that was defined as being agreeable and easy to get along with. A disagreeable spouse can make a marriage miserable. Disagreeable spouses often demonstrate the four C's. They're critical, they're complaining, they conde they're condemning, uh, and they're often correcting their spouse, and they do the other C of being controlling. So it's absolutely essential for every couple every spouse to develop that quality of being cooperative, meaning being agreeable, being laid back, uh, and just cooperating with one spouse. The fourth secret to a successful marriage is planning for a successful marriage. If there's one word that explains the difference between a happy and unhappy marriage, it's planning. Another research study done by a marriage institute years ago to determine the key essential quality that made the difference between a happy and unhappy marriage, and it was that word planning. What the study found is that happy, successful couples plan for a happy marriage, whereas unhappy couples let their good times happen by chance, by accident. There was no planning on what are we going to do to keep our relationship successful. And so I would ask you, what are you planning to do today in terms of connecting with your spouse, whether it be through physical affection, 
Uh, how are you planning to talk to each other with no distractions, just looking into each other's eyes? When are you planning your next date? What are you planning to do next weekend to enjoy each other's company? What are you thinking about in terms of your next mini vacation? So remember a critical essential is to plan for a successful marriage. And then the fifth secret to a successful marriage is daily physical affection. Not weekly, not monthly, every day, couples need to strive to give each other meaningful hugs, meaningful kisses, physical touch throughout the day, hold hands going into church together, hold hands going to the grocery store together. But daily affection is the cement for a marriage relationship. And it is true, a touch is worth a thousand words. So when couples, spouses touch each other, they are saying, I love you through that physical touch. A sixth secret to a successful marriage is to request your expectations. Expectations affect all aspects of your marriage relationship. What are you expecting from your spouse today in terms of helping your, the two of you connect and bond together as a couple? Have you expressed that expectation? Unexpressed expectations are at the heart of a troubled relationship. Whenever I'm disappointed in my wife or my marriage, often it's an unexpressed expectation and it's my mistake. And I think we should, like I indicated earlier, request our expectations with a question. And the three magical words are, will you please? Uh, sentences can often come across, unintentionally, can come across, though, as selfish demands, uh, where we are commanding our spouse to do something. So always when you have an expectation, request it with a will you please do this or will you please do that? And I would ask you, try to identify right now what you're expecting of your spouse between now and the time you go to bed tonight and then make that expectation known with a will you please. The seventh secret to a successful marriage is to have disagreement discussion guidelines. Healthy, successful, satisfying marriages do have disagreements where they re have mutual respect for each other's differing viewpoint, and then they look for solutions. Whereas troubled marriages will have arguments, fights, and conflicts where there's yelling, there's screaming, there's name calling, there's poor listening. And I would ask you the question, what are your guidelines for having healthy disagreement discussions? And probably you're like most couples, uh, I, because I truly believe that greater than 95% of couples do not have guidelines on how to have discussions and have a safe home and look for solutions. In my marriage book, Simple Habits for Marital Happiness, I have 16 simple yet very effective guidelines that make a huge difference in helping couples uh, look for solutions and respect each other. Uh, two of the guidelines have saved hundreds of marriages from divorce. I always suggest stay inside the nines. Uh, don't have a tense topic discussion before nine in the morning or after nine o'clock at night uh, because our feelings often are just kind of tender. We're just uh, not really focused on solutions and it's easy to attack and blame one another before nine in the morning and after nine o'clock at night. A second guideline that has helped numerous couples is to make sure you're always seated when you have that discussion. Just like you do in the business world, people sit around the conference table looking for solutions. Make sure you're seated because standing can be an intimidating posture. It's easier to yell and raise your voice and not be a good listener. And those are just two of the 16 guidelines that lead to a respectful discussion uh, in your marriage relationship. The eighth secret to a successful marriage is to apologize and forgive when you make a mistake. And apologies take compassion and, and humility, and to forgive takes courage. And so those are three wonderful virtues that we all need to possess in order to have a successful marriage. And I think it's important to recognize your shortcomings, recognize when you make a mistake, and apologize, and then seek forgiveness uh, with a will you please forgive me. In fact, the three parts to the apologizing and forgiving process are, I am sorry I hurt you by, whatever words and behaviors were hurtful, request, will you please forgive me? 
and that takes humility, and then say, I forgive you, which takes courage. But just as the central part of the Christian faith is forgiveness, the heart of a Christian marriage is forgiveness. And so it's, and the glue that uh, brings, uh, brings the brokenness back together when a relationship gets uh, hurt or disappointed is forgiveness. So make forgiveness the glue for your marriage relationship by apologizing and forgiving when appropriate. The ninth secret to a successful marriage is to have financial guidelines. Research has found that the top issue, and if not the top issue, the second issue that can create a troubled marriage is finances. And so smart couples have financial guidelines. Have a budget. If you don't have a budget, then have a percent spending plan. What percent of our monthly income will go to food or clothing or entertainment or eating out? What percent of our monthly income it will be an offering to God? But determine guidelines so that you diminish stress in the area of finances. And I think one key guideline mentioned in Simple Habits for Marital Happiness is to use the three Ds. Disclose, discuss, and then decide together the pros and cons, decide together uh, with major purchases so that that does not lead to heartache and heartburn in your relationship. And the 10th secret to a successful marriage is to be constantly on your guard. Proverbs 4.23 states, above all else, guard your heart, meaning guard your thoughts because from your thoughts come your actions. And so we need to constantly be on our guard against our own sinful, selfish flesh, Satan, and the many temptations in the world around us. Guard yourself and your marriage uh, by protecting what you do on social media. Guard your friendships. I've seen so many marriages damaged and even destroyed because one spouse developed unhealthy friendships. Guard your opposite sex friendships. Be careful not to become too close of friends with the opposite sex because that often can lead to an affair. Guard yourself by watching what I call the have-tos. I have to drink alcohol to de-stress today. I have to gamble in order to bring myself comfort. Uh, I have to spend money uh, almost on a daily basis to feel good about myself. Guard yourself against the have-tos. But healthy marriages end up becoming unhealthy often because one spouse is not on their guard against all the temptations that are in the world. I pray that these 10 secrets will help you develop a successful, satisfying marriage relationship. In Simple Habits for Marital Happiness, I have an additional 80 practical, specific words, behaviors, and knowledge that make a positive difference for every marriage. And you can and you will have a successful marriage when you implement uh, these secrets and the other simple yet very effective habits. I really appreciate you taking time from your valuable schedule to watch this video. Will you please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, share this video with family and friends so they too can have a successful marriage and uh, make comments on this video or other videos that I could do that would help you with your life and with your relationships. I pray God's richest blessings upon your life and all your relationships.